Hi, good day. Welcome to CMS. Today we'll start in CMS the second step, which is the cost estimation, as we completed in the last video. All the requirement for the quant surveying of the project. So let's start now the cost estimation. How CMS will deal with cost estimation? Actually, during our work and our process in quant surveying. CMS started already his calculations in cost estimation. As we informed before, CMS depends on the top bottom method to calculate the cost estimation for the project. Actually, as we said before, CMS is using the bottom top method to calculate all the activity cost estimation and consequently the project cost estimation and budget. So the maximum efforts it's already done in the quant surveying only. And now we'll do the balance efforts regarding the cost estimation and we'll see how to deal with it now. Let's click in cost estimation. CMS directed us for the page of the cost estimation, which divided for these steps. Step one, we'll insert all the resources prices. Then we'll go to check our activities cost breakdown and we'll do the required modification if it's required. Then we'll insert our lump sum and subcontract work and we'll check our overhead and profit for the project and at the end CMS will give us the full priced bill of quantity as we'll see later so let's start now with inserting our resources price let's click in the resources price as a step one CMS is directing us for the cost estimation resources prices we'll find here the page is divided for some items the first items is the raw materials which is related to the reinforcement the concrete the bricks the cement and mortars the aggregates some of the major building materials and the equipment our duty now is to insert all the prices for these raw materials and we'll see how second category is the finishing materials which is the prime cost or the purchasing price for the floorings as the tiles or marble for skirtings walls waterproofing metals ceiling partitions and the external works the material for the external works the timber works and the landscape third categories is the wages of the manpower and we'll see now how to insert all the prices for this for these resources meanwhile we'll insert the project currency whatever you will insert it here CMS will calculate all the cost and the prices according to this currency only. So let's start. We'll go for the enforcement. We'll insert the prices for the steel and its margin. We'll consider here the common margin which are which can be used according to the site condition. 3%, 4%, 5 according to your site condition or according to your policy. And the price for the post tension if you have a post tension in your project so you consider here the post tension price per square meter that's it the user diameter is already inserted before in the in the quantity surveyor so you will not to change here you will change only the price if you need to change or you, you will modify only the price if you require according to the price in your location back for resources price we'll go for the second one for the concrete here we'll find the major items of the concrete the concrete for the blinding concrete the concrete for foundation the concrete for tie beam concrete for slab on grade concrete for columns concrete for walls concrete for slabs and the beam and the screed and the price for the concrete admixtures. you can add here the types of the concrete either it's c15 c20 c30 c40 c60 whatever if you need but the most important to put the price here per cubic meter we we'll put the price for each kind of concrete per cubic meters also that's it back to resources price we'll go for the bricks you remember the same types you already inserted before for the block work or block types you will find it here the same all the block types you will find it according to your inserted one what you will do you will insert now the price for the blocks bare number what the price of one piece of block you will consider here this the block work for the masonry work and the hoardy blocks which are required for the 
hold the slabs or rip the slabs plus the accessories of the blocks as we mentioned before in our quantity surveying for the block works ceiling tie wall tie gi mesh and the opening lintels with linear meter either these lintels will be a steel or a concrete you can put the price here with the linear meters only that's it also for the bricks or for machinery or block work back for resources price then you'll go for the cement and mortars you'll insert also the prices for all kind of cement which you are using and the and the mortars which you are using in the project you will add here according to this unit for OBC cement per bag the bag is 50 kilogram so you will put here the price per bag the SRC cement you will put also the price per bag block mortar you will add here per ton you will mention here for the for this block mortar you will mention for the water mix ratio for mortar we're considering here we need 50 gallon per ton it's according to the data sheet which is attached with the block mortar you will just read the data sheet and know how many gallon of water are required for one ton of block mortar the same also for plaster mortar we will, we will put the price here per ton chemical plaster also put the price per ton barium plaster if you are using barium plaster you will add it here also per ton the tiles mortar which which is the tile glue you will add here also per ton it's using for adhesing the tiles on the walls if you are using plaster wall you can add it here also per ton the grouting material you will add here also per 20 kilogram this according to the packet the gypsum also will add here per one packet or one bag which is 50 kilogram so you will add here only the raw material price again for resource price we'll go for the aggregate that's the common aggregate which you are using in the construction work the black sand which is the aggregate below the tiles or as a rush material below the plaster and also with the cement mix in the block work the wash sand for the plastering work and mortar of tiles the gravel which is used for concreting work and the red sand for backfilling and the road base for backfilling below the BCC and the slab on grade you will add the prices here according to this units this unit not to be changed so you consider here the the price per ton for black sand the price also per ton for wash sand price per ton for the gravel and the price for one truck which is 16 cubic meters you will put the price here also for road base you will put the price for one small truck which is 16 cubic meter this unit shall be fixed because CMS used this unit in his cost estimation calculation so you will put the pr you will change the price or you will modify the price according to this unit by other meaning if you have the price for 50 cubic meters you will get from it the price of the 16 cubic meters back for the resources prices will go for buildings materials which are the common buildings materials used in the construction of course it is not all building materials but it is but they are the common which are using there so here is the price for the timber this wood is one inch by four inch using in some decorative work this timber which shall be used as a supporting for the shutters like h beam or uh, three by three or four by four whatever we'll put the prices here per linear meter here is the plywood 18 milli plywood for the horizontal and vertical concreting element we'll put the price here per number here you'll put the price of the scaffolding rent per week how much you will pay for each square meter per week for the scaffolding the same you will put also for for each number of the back props or the jacks which can be used also as a supporting or back propping for the slab after removing the scaffold the main scaffolding or the main shutter you will put here also the price per nose renting in one week here you will add also the numbers of back propping slabs or back propping floors after removing the shutters you will back prop how many slabs one slab or one or two slabs or three slabs this according to your back propping design you can consider here now the two floors as a by default and can be changed later during your execution but if you consider two floors it will be 
more than enough during your cost estimation before you're starting your execution. Here is your insert also the, the external scaffolding for finishing, the rental cost for the external scaffolding, how much per square meter. Here you will add the anti-termite cost, less the chemical we are spraying be below the PCC and slab on grade before casting to avoid the insects and the ants which may damage our timber work this according to the specification here is the water price for each 1000 gallon here is the polythene price for 1000 cage if you need to make it for 1500 or 2000 whatever according to your specification you will add the price here normally when we are completing our flooring tiles or marble or whatever we need to protect it from any damage during our construction so we have a cost for this so we will just give the cost of this protection either you will either you will put some gypsum or you'll put some carton or nylon or nylon and gypsum whatever according to this cost you can add it by square meter this is some of the building materials which we are using in the construction for the equipment we'll find here the common equipments are using the earthwork which are shovel excavator compactor and trucks for removing the waste or disposals what you will do you will insert here the price for rent this per day shovel how much per day excavator how much per day compactor how much per day and for the trucks how much per trip this trip is considering here as 16 cubic meters plus you will provide also the productivity for each type of the shovel according to your soil type this productivity are the common you can also use initially in, in your cost estimation but, it, but if you have another productivity according to your soil uh, condition you can add it direct that's the required from your side for the equipment data back to resource prices now we'll finish all the price for the raw materials we'll start now put the pricing for the finishing materials if we go for floors we'll find here all the finishing materials we already inserted before in the quantity surveying works what we'll do now we'll put here the prices for this material the purchasing price how much for purchase the tile for this porcelain we'll pay 50 here we are considering 50 dirham for square meters so according to our purchasing price or the prime cost for these materials per square meter you will add it here for each material separately for the marble it will be different price here is for the fine flooring carpets epoxy paints whatever all the materials we inserted in the quantity surveying you will find it here what you will do you will put only the prices for the purchasing back to resources price you will do the same for all other finishing materials the skirting you will find here also all the skirting you already inserted in the coin surveying you will only add now the price for linear meters back for resources price the same for the walls all the materials we already inserted here for the tiles which is ceramic and porcelain here is for the marble and granite with both the prices all these descriptions already inserted before you will not insert again for soft finishing you will add the prices here ceiling are the same you will put here here is the same descriptions you will add only the prices per square meters partitions also the same whatever partitions you inserted in the coin surveying they are here you will insert it only the prices for external work also the same whatever we inserted for materials you will only add the prices per square meters for waterproofing the same is directed as for a page of cost breakdown you will find here all the types which were, which were already inserted before in the waterproofing in the quantity surveying and all the quantities mentioned there what you will do you will add the cost per meter here for each type of waterproofing back to cost estimation resources we'll go for timber 
when you when you click the timber CMS will direct you also in the same page of course breakdown you will find here the timber works all the types of the timber work is, are there you will add here the price for each type of timber door or window or whatever as you already inserted all the codes you was inserted you will find it here what you will do you will add only the cost of each type back to cost estimation resource price we'll go for the metal you will find here the, the metal is starting by aluminium work the types are there normally in the aluminium most of subcontractors are calculated by square meters for all the aluminium works they are calculating the area per square the area per square meter and multiply this area in the cost pr or price of the square meter so you will insert here the cost or the price of one meat of the one meter to give you the full price for the all the aluminium work if you change this number with another number all will be changed at the end you will have the price for your aluminium work that's the cost of your aluminium work another metal you have are the handrails you will find also all the description of the handrails you already inserted you will give the price here per the running meter the price this is this price per running meter because you already inserted the length before in the quantity surveying as we did before here also we'll find the cabinet that's the type of the cabinet which you inserted before you will insert also the price per running meters or square meters according to your data before because all the quantities are already inserted before so you insert now only the price back for cost estimation sources price balance now is the landscape when you click here CMS will direct you in for external work and landscape which are the external ground area whatever you will have there in the external ground area you already have the descriptions and the quantities as we did in the quantity surveying what you will do to so put the price for each either per square meter or running meter according to your materials that's it that's how to insert all the raw materials and finishing materials prices for CMS we will continue work in the cost estimation and now we'll present how CMS will give us a cost breakdown for our project let's go for the cost estimation activity cost breakdown CMS will direct us for this page we'll find here this above buttons this top left button that's to travel through CMS page this blue buttons to go through the components of this page the cost breakdown and here the steps which we have to follow let's start with the step one which is click to run CMS complete step one go for step two okay step two is telling the information in the maroonish color cells are automatically calculated but you are able to modify them if required and insert the missing data then go for step 3 so let's proceed now for step 2 we'll find here CMS make a cost breakdown for all these activities which is the earthwork, concrete work, block, plastering, finishing, MAB, waterproofing, metal, timber, landscape, boundary wall and lump sum work which we need to inserted here and he will help us to provide the profits of our project let's go now through the cost breakdown and complete step two for earthwork which is here we will find cms divide the earthwork for the excavation work the road base under the bcc filling with existing sand which is the existing sand come from the excavation not imported from outside then filling with sand which is imported from outside remove disposal which is the balanced sand which must be removed outside the site the road base under slab grade 
the antitermite under foundation the antitermite under slab on grade actually CMS already calculated all these quantities according to the levels of the excavation and levels of the slab on grade and the quantities of the foundation and the quantities of the tie beams and all the substructure quantities same as did all the calculation he provide you all the excavation quantity he provide you the required road base quantity but you have to insert for him what is the depth of the road base which is required below the BCC he will provide you the filling with the existing sand the quantity which is can be which are can be used to refill from the existing sand the quantity of the imported red sand for the project the required removal disposal the road base below slab on grid if it's there you have to, of course to mention the thickness suppose it is a 15 centi as we saw there is a quantity added there for the road base and quantity also reduced from the sand and the area which will be treated by antitermite below the foundation and the area below the slab on grid this all is calculated directly by CMS what else we have also the materials CMS calculated for us the cost of those materials according to the raw materials which we already inserted there CMS also calculated for us the cost of the equipment which is required to do this earthwork we will enter only the number of the equipment which is working at the site when we increase the number of the equipment the duration will be increased so this will be important for us to manage our schedule as we will see later because we inserted the cost and the productivity for each equipment in the sheet of the cost estimation in the resource prices in the equipment as we saw here for the shovel we, we insert the price per day and the productivity also per day the excavator per day price per day and the productivity per day compactor rent per day and also the productivity per day and here the waste removing trucks how the how much per one truck which is 16 cubic meters as same as considering and the productivity also per day how many cubic meters can be done every day according to this rate and this productivity CMS give us the cost for the equipment according to the quantities automatic let's go back accordingly CMS give us the cost the rate per cubic meter and the cost for this equipment also CMS calculated for us the cost of the water the cost of the convection the total cost for this earth work the price per meter for each item the total price which will be presented in the POQ after adding the profit ratio as we will see later by the way it will be added automatically for each activity as we will see later here also the price which will be presented in the POQ per cubic meter the rates per meter here because we didn't insert yet the required profit ratio is considered here equal one that's why the price equal the cost here the price of this division is equal the cost of course it will not be like this after adding the profit ratio this will be changed as we'll see later that's for the earthwork let's go for the next division which is the concrete for the concrete work it is started here with a calculator for a concrete component and the cost if you will mix on site the material and the required manpower for pouring of the concrete plus also the required manpower for the post tension if required let's talk about this calculator it is mentioned here all the the ratio of the component of the concrete which is the cement weight for the cubic meter the fine aggregate which is sand and its ratio for the coarse aggregate which is the gravel then the water cement ratio and the admixtures percentage and here is the specific gravity for each element of this 
for the cement is 3.12 ton per cubic meter for the sand it is almost 2.63 ton per cubic meter for the coarse aggregate 2.68 ton per cubic meters for the water of course it is one ton per cubic meter and the admixtures and here we consider that the coarse aggregate will be twice of the fine aggregate according to this same is make the calculation according to the volume equation and give us all the quantities required for the sand and the gravel and cement and the water and admixtures accordingly same is calculate the cost for the cubic meters of concrete that's if you will make the mix on site or we already inserted the cost for each cubic meter for each element for the ready mix concrete where as we did before in the resources price the concrete we have here all the prices of the concrete Concrete for PCC, which is blinding, concrete for foundation, for tie beam, for slab on grade, for columns, for walls, for slabs and beam, for screed, and also the price of the concrete admixtures. So easily, CMS can follow this and give you the required cost. This also this must be inserted even if you are working in the ready mix concrete that's the manpower for the boring we consider here the labor gang is one mason and a half helper and both will give you a productivity of pouring as we'll see here in this schedule and that's the post tension installation the productivity for one steel fixer is 12 square meter per day that's to calculate how much the cost of post tension installation as we'll see later let's go now for the breakdown itself We'll find here same is divided the concrete work for this activities BCC under foundation, RCC for the foundation, BCC under strap, RCC for the strap beam, RCC for the neck column, BCC under the tie beam, RCC for tie beam, slab on grid, columns, core wall, the beams and slabs and ribs till the mezzanine floor or, or body. The beams and ribs and the slab also for the typical floors and here for the roof and the special concrete as we inserted in the core wall and the special concrete here in the quant surveying here whatever we inserted here and give a description in this location as per this description you will find that's inserted already in the cost breakdown with the same description. CMS now have all the quantities of the concrete for each activity. You have already also automatically the price for the concrete. So either you keep it or you need to change if you go for the casting on site or mixing on site. CMS also provide you the price for the concrete according to our input. He give you the total cost of the concrete. Then CMS actually divide the cost of the concrete work for a material and manpower for material which is the quantity of the concrete so the cost of the concrete here is the price of the concrete according to our input in the resource price so he calculates for you the quantity of the concrete and he consider also the logic margin for the concrete waste here is the steel quantity of the steel for each element or for each activity and the cost of the steel according to also the resources price here is the shutter work the cost of the shutter work same as calculate the shutter work according to his calculation for the surfaces of each concrete element and accordingly he calculate the required shutters and the required timber for this and he, he considering the required material to be purchased and the and the margin and the waste for this material according to his calculation in the material takeoff as we saw before just for reminding we'll go for the material takeoff if we go for the concrete section that's all the description of the concrete elements as we mentioned now the quantities of the concrete either plain concrete or reinforced concrete that's the total concrete and here is the shutter the approximate shutter on chambers the required timber for linear meter and required plywood according to this he he calculated the cost of the timber 
and when you enter the horizontal and vertical shutter consumption per floor how much percentage he will calculate the consuming of this shutter and the margin of this shutter so let's go for the horizontal shutter and tell him we have each floor loses of 20 percent he will consider this and he calculate the actual consumption for this material for the vertical floors if you also you consider 20 or 25 percent according to the your element shape and site condition and according to your workmanship if you tell him 20 percent you mean that you will use the timber which you will provide only for five times as you said that's according to your site requirement so according to this percentage same is calculated the required shutter and the consuming and margin of this shutter back for the cost estimation so that's how CMS calculated the shutter for each element plus the scaffolding required CMS also will calculate the required scaffolding cost he will give you a figure if you agree with this figure if you have a prices equally or near for this figure you can keep it or you can change it if you require here if we have a hardy block coming from the rips slab it will be calculated automatically don't need to insert anything CMS calculate here the cost of the curing because you insert for CMS a price for the post tension in the resources price he he consider that he, you will have a post tension for all the slabs if you agree for this you will keep the area like this don't change if you not agree for this and you mention you have only some area not all the area have post tension you will insert only the area of the post tension in this column at the end you will find CMS give you all the required cost for the materials of the concrete work and the manpower for the concrete work he gave you here the post tension installation cost labor cost for post tension installation as we informed here you will insert here the productivity accordingly CMS will give you a cost of the installation here is the cost of pouring we will mention here how much how much this labor gang will produce for you in the concreting we're considering here that for example one mason and helper will give you a 15 cubic meters in the bcg a 50 cubic meters in the raft 15 cubic meters in the strap 12 cubic meter for the columns and so on you can also modify this according to your site requirement and your workmanship capability Accordingly, same is calculate for you the rate for this concrete boring, and that's the cost of concrete boring. Here is the formwork manpower. What is the manpower required for the shuttering and the shuttering and back probing? This all all must be considered, and we will see how to be inserted in the CMS when we are going to talk about the scheduling. CMS already have a productivity in his database. If you require to change it. We will see how to be changed later when we are working when we are talking about the uh, scheduling but just for information now if you if you like to confirm the productivity you need to go for the main page and go for scheduling then manpower and productivity you will find here all the type of manpower required for your civil work in your project and here we find also the activities then you will insert the productivity for the manpower if you need to change only just modify it that's for now but of course later when we are talking about the scheduling we will spoke about this in detail again for cost estimation and concrete according to these productivities CMS calculate the rate of the manpower for the form work as we inform now and also the same for the rebar how many tons we have rebar for each activity the cost also for the manpower in the bar work also with the same same as have the database of the productivities for the steel work and that's the cost of manpower for the bar work and here is the total labor cost per cubic meter if it is required for your reference to ensure this is uh, this amount is reasonable for you or not and here is the total cost for the concrete work the cost per cubic meter for all concrete for full concrete work and that's the price which will be presented in the BOQ with the price for each cubic meters. 
Still now we have the profit ratio still one. We didn't insert any profit for this project. That's why the cost equals the price. And of course, as we said, it is not logic and it will be changed as we'll see. We'll continue speaking about how CMS will provide for us a cost breakdown. And we'll start now for the breakdown of block work. Cost breakdown. Block work. Also, we'll start here with this calculator. This calculator is helping us to find the required quantities and the cost for the mortar material if we are going to use a mortar mix inside. We have the cement, fine aggregate, coarse aggregate, and quarter cement ratio. And here is the specific gravity for each element. If you consider here that we will make a mix for one cement and one fine aggregate and two coarse aggregate which is like zero three or the black sand whatever the name or even if it's only cement and sand you can consider only one cement and three sand whatever according to your location according to your available material Accordingly, CMS will use also the volume equation to give you the quantity for the cement and the sand and the coarse aggregate and the water. Here is the quantities. And here is the price per unit and the total price for each item and the total price and that's the total price for the mortar. He is also for calculating the accessories of the block to be considered in the price. You can also here insert the potential margin or waste of this mortar. You can consider here 10% or 15% according to your site condition. Same as will provide for us a table for substructure block work and superstructure block work. We will find here all the types of the block which we already inserted before in the block work as in the quantity surveying work. On your work here is the block we'll find here we already inserted types of the block same as consider the same in his calculation that's the same types of block and here is the area of block for these types both the same for the substructure and superstructure so he consider he considered the same types which already which he calculated before that's the area for each type of the block. That's the block quantities. That's the price of each type. All of this coming automatically. And here is the price for the block work as a material. So this part for the block and this part for the mortar. Because we already worked with ready with ready mortar, not mixed inside mortar. He gave us here the quantity for each type of block. The quantity for the mortar and the price which you have to pay for it and also the water cost to mix it with the ready mortar and here is the water for curing and the cost of the accessories that's for the material for the block and here's for the labor because also same as have in his database the productivity for the block work for each type of the block work and also can be changed or modified as we mentioned before in the concrete from the productivity in the scheduling here you will find the block work and you can change here the productivity for the masons and their helpers which are there you can insert it according to your site condition or modify according to site condition or you can keep it if it's if you agree about them again for the block work that's the rate which CMS calculated and according to the quantity he calculated the cost for the man power and here you have the total cost and the cost per meter for each type of block and the price after adding the overhead and profit as we'll see later how and the price here for for each meter as you see here this cell is empty because this related to the mix on site mortar let's see now if we change the type of the mortar 
what will be changed and what the information will be added and also let's take an example about how the price also will be affected because of the uh, because of the type of the mortar here the price using the ready mortar is 60.18 let's see now if we change this type for another type of mortar or for mix on site mortar how the cost will be let's go for the quant surveying machinery work block work and go for this superstructure work and change the filling mortar type and instead of ready which is ready mortar will go for mix which is mix on site When we change the type of mortar, we'll find here there is no ready mortar, and here is all the required material and the cost for the mix on site mortar, which is the, that's the quantities for the mix on site mortar. Here is the cement quantity and the price, the water price, black sand price, white sand price, and the curing water price, and the final price for the for this type of block and instead of 60.18 it is now 58.64 so now you can also identify the variance between using a ready mortar or mix on site mortar to make to take a proper decision for what type of mortar you have to use that's the way as you see sim is giving you all the details quantity and all the requirement automatically without any effort from your side all this is coming for you automatically just spent now a time to explain how CMS is calculating this all and what will be output from CMS. At the end, you will have the total cost for the block work and the final price for the block work. After adding the profit ratio, this this amount will be changed and the, and you'll have here a profit will appear. Let's go now for the next, which is the plaster. Also, we'll find here calculator for how CMS will calculate the plaster mortar quantity and the price the same here we'll find this calculators first one is the mix inside mortar second is the rush for the mix inside mortar here the ready mix mortar calculator and that's the required rush for the ready mix mortar normally you are considering this ready mix mortar is the which we already uh, called here a shoot a shooting plaster because we are using a, ma a machine there so when we choose in the plaster a shoot plaster so the same as we did in the block we will insert the ratio between the cement and the and sand to cement which is three to one according to our specification here the water cement ratio will be 0.8 also according to the specification CMS use the volume equation to calculate the required quantities for cement and sand and water and the price for each of them and the total price for the mortar. He will insert the thickness of the plaster according to your specification and the margin and waste material. This of course will affect your price. The same for the rush. We have a cement and black sand and also water cement ratio. And as we said, also there is the specific gravity or the density. CMS give us the cost for the one cubic meter of this rush. The same here for the ready mix mortar. According to the data sheet with the ready mix mortar, of course, any any material or any uh, ready mortar must have a data sheet, which is telling us about the consumption is this material and telling us for one square meter. And thickness of one centimeter how many kilograms of material are required and how many liters of water required to be mixed with this quantity of material if we have also a special plaster like a chemical or barium plaster which are normally using in special items like hospitals or the same we'll start we'll just insert this number and CMS will calculate the required quantity for this mortar 
the same also for the rush material if it's there and of course we'll insert the thickness of the plaster and the waste or margin for this plaster the same also for the rush here we consider the rush thickness is 0.4 or 0.5 according to your specification then you will find CMS give you all the required materials to implement this plaster here you have the areas automatically output the mortar which is mixed inside mortar because we we choose only a normal plaster we didn't choose a shoot plaster if we choose a shoot a shoot plaster in the finishing as we did before here let's go of course surveying the finishing work internal plaster internal finishing we choose here normal plaster if we choose for some a shoot plaster we will find in this plaster now let's go and check plaster work here shoot plaster is appear and that's the quantities required for this areas and that's the price because only we change the type of plaster so when we choose a normal plaster that means we choose a mix on site mortar but if we choose a shooting plaster or a shoot plaster that means we choose a ready mix mortar so we have here the area the mortar either it is ready mortar or mix on site mortar that's the material required for this mortar this all which is the rush the cement the black sand the white sand and the water all this the cost plus also the required scaffolding mainly we'll find this in the external plaster and because we already inserted the rent price for the scaffolding in the resources price same is calculated automatically and give it to us so this is all is the material cost here is the labor cost also because cms have a productivity for this plaster it is already already mentioned in the cms database the productivity of plaster work cms calculated the rates and according to this quantity cms give us the costs for the manpower of plaster here is the total cost of plaster and the plus and the cost per meter also the total price for plaster and the price per meter because we still not have a profit ratio we'll find here the price equals the cost and it will be changed later the next let's speak about the finishing work for the finishing work start here with a flooring work we'll find here a calculator for the mix on site mortar for any flooring we have two options the first one is Above the concrete, we'll lay a well compacted crash sand or 03 or black sand. This also can be mixed with some cement. And this is used for leveling and backing below the tile. Above this layer, we are adding sand cement mortar, which is working as an adhesive for the tiles. Normally, this layer, which is well compacted crash sand, working as an uh, allowance for all the electrical pipes and adjust for the finishing floor level in this case if you are using this case we are inserting the thickness of the black sand or the well compacted sand here insert the sand thickness below the mortar we consider here it is a six centimeter and we insert also the mortar thickness which is the sand cement mortar we consider here as a two centimeters and we consider also a margin of this material with 20 percent before this we already inserted the mix of this mortar mix of this mortar which consists of cement and sand and water we give only the ratio between the cement and sand and of course the specific gravity which is fixed maybe cannot maybe not need to change and of course the water cement ratio by the way this uh, all these ratios and the uh, the numbers not need to change because that's the logic everywhere so here cms calculate for us the required cement and sand and water as a quantities and price that's one option for laying the flooring the second option instead of well compacted sand it will be replaced by screed and instead of the 
sand cement mortar, it will be replaced by tile glue. In this case, we will insert the thickness of the tile glue and the thickness of the screed and also the mirror. Accordingly, CMS calculate the cost because we already inserted for him before the rate of man power in our resources prices. And here is the glue, tile glue calculator for one square meter with thickness of one centimeter. According to the data sheet, we need a 16 kilogram mixed with three liter of water. And we will consider a margin of 20%. According to, this, to these informations, CMS will calculate all the required materials. Again, we will insert only the thickness of mortar and sand or thickness of screed and the material mix is there according to the data sheet. And by the way, 99% of the projects will use the same and mostly you will not need to change anything here. What CMS will provide for you for the flooring? Automatically, the CMS providing you all the types of the tiles which you already inserted before in the quantity surveying. He will give you the full quantity for each one. When you insert for him the margin, for the flooring tiles, according to your site condition, the area's shape or the workmanship capability, you will decide your margin. Accordingly, and according to the price which you inserted before in the resources price for each type of the tiles, CMS will give you the full price for this tile. By the way, you'll find this sales from here to there. They are all related to the ceramic tiles. And this below, they are related to the marble and granite. So same as give for you here the materials and the material price. Then the mortar. You will choose here the type of the mortar. Either it is mix inside or tile glue. Because we choose already mix inside, he'll give you for each type of tiles, the quantities of the mortar. Then the cement quantities per bag and the cost of the cement, the sand cost, the water cost, the black sand cost, which will be laid below the mortar. And here also, the cement which is required to be mixed with this sand below the mortar to give you a good support below the mortar and below the tiles and to avoid any kind of movement. Also, for the flooring, he gave you also the cost of grout and cover for protection and here is the labor cost CMS also have a proper productivity for tiling he calculated and give you the rates for the manpower and for this quantity that's the cost of manpower and that's the total cost and the cost per meter for each type of tile and the price as we said before this price is according to work in mix on site. Now, what if we change for tile glue? In case of tile glue, let's change the mix inside to tile glue and we'll see the change. That's the changes which happen. Now there is no cement, no sand, no black sand. We have only the water which will be mixed with the tile glue. He gave us now the quantity of the tile glue and quantity of the water which is required to mix there and the screed. Now we have a screed and this screed area translated here with a screed cost as a material and labor cost for laying this screed. Finally, giving you a rate for the screed which will be added on in the cost of the tiles when you are making your comparison to decide what you will use. You will use a screed and glue, or you will proceed with the normal mortar. What the what the change in the price? Now this cost instead of ninety four point five, it is now eighty three point five. That means it's less with eleven, but we will add another thirty two for the screed work. So CMS gave you. A clear figure for the cost for each type to allow you decide which one you will use and also give you 
a detailed quantities for all type of the material required for these activity so that was for the rough flooring which is the tiles and marble marble also the same and here you have the total cost and the price for the tile and marble also the same will happen for the uh, soft flooring which is like rubber or uh, hdf or wooden or a carpet or epoxy paint or whatever all the type which we already inserted before in the finishing contouring will find all the material there all the quantities there and the price you can also adjust the margin if you need you will find here the total cost directly because we already inserted in the resources price at the end you will find that the cost of this item the next will go for the, the skirting and borders find here also the calculator for the glue for this uh, skirting this is very easy what the required for each linear meter almost three kilogram need for each linear meter with one liter of water and thickness of mortar it will be sent one centimeter and that's the margin of 20 percent you'll find here all the description or not insert anything you will find the uh, required material with the price here the required mortar the required mortar for mixing with the tile glue and that's the labor cost and the cost for the skirting work and cost per meter and the price and of course the profit ratio at the end you will have the all the cost and the price for the skirting the same for the soft skirting which is the same which is the same material of the soft flooring rubber or uh, wooden or carpet or epoxy or whatever and at the end you'll have the price for this soft skirting the next is the internal walls you will find here also the calculator for the how to fix the internal walls when we are going for mix on site mortar we will insert also the ratio between the cement and sand and water here the specific gravity you will find also the quantity required for the one cubic meter and that's the total cost for the cubic meter or mortar the same also for the rush and the same also for the tile glue how many kilogram required to spray one meter with thickness of one centimeter we'll insert here the mortar thickness or the tile glue thickness which is considered here like 0 0.5 centimeter with this margin and you have to insert also the thickness if we are working with a normal mortar we have to insert the thickness of the mortar and the margin and also the rush thickness cms will give you all this automatically he will give you the all wall types for tiles or marble the full quantities price and also mortar required with all details materials required for this type of tiles and the labor cost here also we have to choose the type of mortar but here we have three not two either it is mix on site or tile glue or dry fix we can fix the walls either with mix on site mortar which is normal mortar sand, sand and cement or tile glue above plaster or dry fix using the brackets so accordingly we have here a new columns for the brackets if you use mix on site you will find here the cement and sand and water and black sand and you have here the price approximate per meter is 75 if we go now for tile glue instead of 75 it will be also the same 75 but we have to add a plaster before the glue if we we'll go for the dry fix you will find there is no any sand or cement or whatever but we have a bracket price like this and the cost instead of 75 it came to 100 and also here is the labor because we have a productivity cms give us the rate for this style installation and the total price for the labor and the total cost for the wall tiling and or, or marble or granite and also the cost per meter and the price also cms will give us the detail for the internal paint what is the type of the paint what is the areas required and the price and the cost total and per meter 
four partitions. CMS also gave us the types of the partitions which were already inserted before and the areas and the price. The same also for the ceiling. CMS will give us all the details for the cement type, the areas for each type, and the price for each type, and the cost, total cost and cost per meter, and total price and the price per meter for each type of cement. The same also for the external finish. CMS will give us all the type of the external finish, the full area. You will also choose which type of fixation or which type of mortar you will use. According to this type, CMS will calculate for you the required material and will give you at the end the cost and the price. The same also for the external paint. CMS will give you the full quantity and the full price and also he will consider the quantity and the price for the scaffolding. At the end, he will give you the cost and the price for your external paint. At the end, CMS will give you the full cost and the price, total cost and the price for the all finishing work. And also the weight of this activity against all the project weight. This is an indication for our reference. In next video, we will see how to insert and complete the required lump sum and subcontract work. Thank you and goodbye.